So right now we're on Soledad Canyon Road, right about uh, at Commuter Way, and I am joined with uh, the city's Darren Sigmiller from our special districts uh, division. And Darren, behind us we see a big uh, landscape maintenance uh, project going on in our center medians. Uh, talk about the project. It's not a city project, but people might be wondering what this is. Right, so the project we have is um, it's associated with the what we call a Villa Metro project, which is a New Holland development um, project, and basically what it uh, as part of this project, uh, they're required to make uh, certain improvements to the frontage of their property, and you know most of those are in the right of way. Well, it's all in the right of way, and basically what they're required to do as part of this development is to install landscaping in the medians uh, on the frontage of their project. Um, but in addition to that, they were required to install uh, landscaping in the medians uh, in, in front of their project heading east towards the Golden Valley Road flyover. So if you remember, uh, before this project uh, was under construction, there were medians, they were raised medians with curbs, and, but basically there was only asphalt uh, in, the, in the center of those medians. Um, so like I said, as part of this project, they were required to remove the asphalt and then install our stamped concrete and our irrigation system and, and uh, landscaping. And then after it's completed, uh, then the city will take over maintenance and will be, will, re, will be responsible for the maintenance of these medians as part of our landscape maintenance districts. And you know, over the years, residents might have noticed that we have different, we've had, have, have had different landscape medians through different parts of the city. Um, and you know, those landscape medians, they only last so long and, and, and the vegetation there has to be changed out and the irrigation has to be replaced. Um, what the city's now doing is more of a uniform look for the entire city. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. Um, we do have a common uh, design, uh, a, a standard design for medians throughout the city. And uh, it's, it's pretty typical of what you see now on the eastern side of, uh, of Soledad Canyon Road with uh, strips of, of stamped concrete on the outside edge, uh, uniform planting uh, in the middle with, with trees down the center of the median. And, and that is um, something that uh, we kind of consider kind of a, a common you know, ribbon or thread that, that wraps throughout the city. And it, and it does give the city of Santa Clarita a, a unique look and, and feel as, as people uh, visit the city and, 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 um, and appreciate the, the landscaping and, and the beautification that, that we find, uh, that the council uh, finds very important. And this isn't the only area of town right now that's undergoing a medium uh, transformation. It, we're doing something in Canyon and farther into Canyon Country as well. Yeah, there's a project uh, that's under construction right now on Sierra Highway between Friendly Valley and Via Princesa. Uh, a similar kind of project where existing medians, um, uh, there were existing medians, uh, but they only had asphalt in the, in the middle of those medians. Um, and so as, as a city project, this is something that, that you know, we're the project manager of. Uh, we're basically taking out the asphalt, installing trees, irrigation, plants, uh, stamped concrete. And um, so I, I think, uh, you know, it's something that um, over the next uh, couple of years, as, as these projects continue, uh, you, it's going to be a, a major benefit to the, to the residents of the city of Santa Clarita. So Darren, we talk a lot in the city about what we're able to accomplish and what we're able to accomplish through partnerships. And I know this is another example of that. Absolutely. This is a, a great example of how the city has been able to partner, in, in this case with New Holland. Um, they had a requirement to install, uh, as I mentioned, the landscape medians in, in front of their project. Um, well, the city had projects directly adjacent to theirs that we knew we wanted to complete within the next couple of years. So in um, talking with New Holland, uh, we were able to come up with um, basically a, a reimbursement agreement where they were able to uh, complete some of the things that, that we knew we wanted to do in the next couple of years, um, but we really were able to take advantage of economies of scale and, you know, um, you know, they have a contractor out here already that's doing that exact same type of work. If we can just expand the scope of the project, um, it saves the city a lot of time and money. And, and this, this project, uh, the things that we were going to complete are now being completed really about a year and a half ahead of schedule. Okay, so, um, you know, we talked about a lot of the overall effort on medians going on in, in Santa Clarita. What's our kind of time frame for all this? For this project on Soledad Canyon Road, um, this, uh, what, what there, what's being worked on right now as far as the medians are concerned, uh, should be done probably uh, late summer, early fall this year. Um, 
But we also have, uh, as we mentioned, you know, there are other medians in, on Soledad Canyon Road that are a little older, that, that are in need of refurbishment. And we're talking basically between the Golden Valley Road flyover out to um, probably near where the Edward Cinema is at Luther Drive. Uh, those medians um, are, on, are scheduled to be refurbished uh, next year. And we plan to have all of Soledad Canyon Road completed, refurbished with beautiful landscaping, um, uh, efficient irrigation that's durable and, and can stand the test of time. All of that should be completed by fall next year. Darren, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're out there, you're wondering what's going on with the construction on Soledad Canyon Road, that's it. Look for this project to be completed by late summer or early fall of 2013.